truth is that the more I try to understand you, the more confused I get. Why haven't you spoken about this all this while? Baby, I told you I was completely lost. I couldn't remember anything up until this afternoon. I see. Well, the description of the woman you said you saw, I don't know her. And I've not had anything to do with any woman of such description. Why then did she tell me to leave you? Strange. 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 How did she know you were married before? She also claimed to know why your ex-wives left. She knows you very well. She says that... Enough. Enough of this nonsense. Can you listen to yourself? That a ghost came to my house? How long have you been here? Three years plus. And you're talking this rubbish. I know what I'm saying. I know what I am saying. I saw her. You can ask the gate man. He can bear me witness. Oh. See what you're doing to yourself. You have degenerated to the level of having discussions with the gate man. The same gate man, you know, smokes Indian hemp. I'm very disappointed in you. It's not it all. Because the gate man came to me and told me he saw her. I didn't believe him until she came to me. I saw her. I know what I'm saying. I'm telling you the truth. You know what? I think you're fast losing it. Put a check on it before you lose it completely. There's nothing you're hiding. Listen, Lizzie. We have come a long way. And I know what you can do. For me to ask you to do this means I know you can do it. Why are you behaving as if I've asked you something impossible? Something too much. Why? It's just that I don't know why you want me to do that. If I understand correctly, this man is your own good friend. And what about it? He's a married man. How am I supposed to succeed? Listen to me. Forget the fact that he is my friend or not my friend. It is not your business. That is not even the issue. The issue is that this is like politics to me. In politics, we don't have permanent enemies. We also don't have permanent friends. What we have is permanent interest, and that is what we are talking about here. My interest. Now, concerning the fact that uh, he is married, that is not supposed to be your problem at all. I want you to unleash the Jezebel in you on this man, and you are going to be rewarded handsomely. <laughs> in my hmm. <laughs> no promising anything yet. Of course, you don't have to promise me things because. People don't make empty promises to a man like me. I just want you to do what I know you can do. And then leave me to do what I can do. Do what I want you to do. Okay, okay. This is the one I do. today? I'm going to the boutique. Mm, that reminds me. How's the boutique doing? 
Are those uh, clothes from Turkey really selling? Yes. The agent says the four containers will be in before the end of this week. Did I tell you your Range Rover Sports is among the goods coming? Yes, you did. Um, yeah. Sweetheart, I know you've gone through some stressful moments. The fainting show up and so on. I want you to take it easy. You really need some rest. You can go to one of those your dream islands and get some rest. By the time you get back, you'll be refreshed. Don't think about what your mind is telling you now. Crazy. He thinks there's something wrong with me, like, as if I'm losing it. <laughs> what if you are? What? Yes. Maybe you're just crazy. I can't believe you're the one telling me this. Not from you now. Not from you. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Okay, let's break everything down. At first, you were worried about his ex-wives. Then you asked him. Then he told you some strange and funny stories, how they were witches, and he sent them away. And suddenly, these women started attacking you in your dreams. Then the strange woman came visiting. I mean, don't you get where I'm going? No, no, I know what I saw. I saw the strange woman with my two eyes. I know what I saw. You've lived with this man for three years, for that long. You've never had issues about his ex-wives. No strange woman came visiting. <laughs> and then, as soon as he told you about this women, everything started happening at the same time. Don't you think your mind is playing games with you? Maybe you're just hallucinating, my friend. Me hallucinating? I saw her with my two eyes. What are you saying? Amanda, you are just worried. You're very correct. I am dead worried and I need answers. What are you talking about? I need your help. I need to find, I need to meet those women. I need to know what happened. You're not serious. Yes, I'm serious. I need to see them. I need to know why they left. How can they leave such comfort? It's not ordinary. Eh? Come on, Amanda. Why are you doing this? Please. Please. I need to talk to them. I need answers. Okay. Do you even know these women? How do you intend to go about it? I mean, do you know where they are? That's why I need your help. Hmm? I heard that they live in this town. I have searched. I've done my investigation. Eh? I need your help. Anything for you. <laughs> you know that your investigator friend, maybe he can be of help. <laughs> no way. <laughs> there is no way you're connecting me back to that Jack. Please. Mm -mm -mm. I told you I no longer see him. And for, for anything, I will not see him. Pretty, please, please. Please, you know you're my friend. Eh? At least we know him very well. You, you said you trust his um, abilities. Eh? And he has no similar jobs. Do you want to kill me? Please, no, you know you're my friend. No? Yeah, I can't run to any other person but you. Do you have the names of this women? Yes, I have the names in my post in the car. Okay. Eh? I just can't believe you're luring me back to that guy. No, I'm sorry. I will see what I can do about it. But the question is, 
What exactly do you want to do? Anything, sir. So anything. I can work as a cleaner in the office. I can also work as a house help. Is that all you want to do? What is your qualification? Um, um, sorry, sir. I, I was unable to finish my junior secondary school, sir. All right. I've heard you. We will definitely get back to you. No, sir, sir, please. I, I can't wait, sir. So please tell me when I'll come back. I, I will come back by myself. Please, sir. I, I can even start working right now in the office as, as a cleaner, sir. Please. We have cleaners already. So I can assist them. Please, sir. I need to work. I, I need money. What if I give you money to start your own business? No, sir, sir. Please, thank you. I, I know you too well, sir. I have heard so much about you, how you help people. But sir, I, I need to work for my own money. I, I, I need to work. Please. I like your spirit. We can start you as a cleaner. <laughs> Go, my secretary will tell you what to do. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I'm very grateful, sir. Right. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful, sir. Thank you. Oh yes, as soon as I get to work tomorrow morning, I'll make sure the papers are ready. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do appreciate. <laughs> Okie dokie. Bye. Annabelle. <clears throat> What's up? Just wondering, this is your relationship with Udubondo. Is he still professional? And if it's no longer professional, is something wrong with that? It's not like there's any problem. He has a pretty wife. She will slice your throat. <laughs> Would you? You forgot to add this. He has a pretty wife who... A pretty wife? Is she pretty? <laughs> Whatever. Who is yet to bear him a child? But he still loves her. And they still live together. <laughs> it's just a matter of time before he... Replaces her. 
that we are talking about replacement. This is how we do. With me, of course. <laughs> Babe, everything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sure you're dreaming. Keep on dreaming. <laughs> Come on, Ju. What does that childless, arrogant woman have that I do not have? Eh? Babe, check me out now. Eh? Annabelle. As a matter of fact, I don't think she suits the bundle at all. Wait, Annabelle, you know, when we started this conversation, I thought, I thought you were kidding, I thought you were joking. I never knew you were into this guy. <laughs> Wait, babe. <laughs> babe, you cannot kid with such a package. Udu Bondu is a complete package. Babe, I'm so into him. I want him badly. Can you explain this sizzling sensation that I feel whenever I think about him? Huh? What do you call that? What about him? Is he into you too? I mean, are you, are you guys already doing it? Not yet. But I'm gradually going to make it work. Trust me, babe. I'm working so hard on it. By the time he dumps his crazy um, wife... Um, and I'm not listening. It's not like I'm trying to tell you what to do. But you have to take my advice. You have to keep this professional so I would not lose his business contact. That's the right thing to do since the guy is not even into you yet. Yes. Whatever. Why am I even discussing this with you? You're such a kill, Joe. I beg she, Joe. And Mecca, please, please do not insult my family. Pico, do not insult my family. I am not insulting your family. I am only stating the fact. First, your mother said she heard slamming doors. Uh -huh. Then you said you saw a strange woman. Your sister left because she said she saw an invisible hand turning on the tap. For goodness sake, that is ridiculous. It has to do with members of your family right out of my house. I cannot sit here and listen to you watch you insult my family. How come all of these things that are happening are just happening in your house? Answer me, why? I Tell cannot me. answer such irrelevant question. All I'm saying is, I've had enough of this trash. And if you, members of your family are not comfortable to come here, let them stay away. Q-E-D. You called me? Yes. Are you through with your cleaning duties for the morning? Yes, I'm through. Okay. The chairman would like to... What? Yes. Is everything all right? I don't think so. But he's seated already. You will know the reason when you get there. Finding your job? I find it satisfactory, sir. It's good. Hmm. Uh, Jama, my secretary, has said so. She commends you for hard work. Keep it up. I'm happy to hear that, sir. Good. You must have noticed how others appear. I mean, in terms of dressing, haven't you? I have, sir. The dress so low. <laughs> At times, sir, I wonder if we are doing the same job, sir. <laughs> because I insisted it must be so. Oh? Huh? You must know that you must appear neat always um, despite the fact that you work as a cleaner is it true no don't, don't misunderstand me i'm only trying to make a point i always have uh, important vis visitors here dignitaries visit me i wouldn't want them to see you in this state so you must not be odd you must dress well and neat to the office, okay? Are you 
that is not part of your salary. I can call it again. I want you to do exactly what I said. Buy yourself some new clothes. Dress well to the office. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Lizzie, why are you so excited? Hmm? What did he say? A guy is simply insane. <laughs> he gave me something. On top of the world. <laughs> well, that's good. Their names are written in there. Pretty, why would you like to trace these people? Listen to me, Odeoyen Weyengba. Don't get personal here, please. Just do your job. Get me the addresses and your job is done. Okay. You want us to go professional? My first payment before I start anything. Your account will be credited this afternoon. So just tell me how long it's going to take for you to get the job done. I'm not traveling out of the state. It won't take long. Just give me the average time. That's what I Come want. Come on, pretty. This is not the kind of job we do in your salon. This is an investigation. A private one at that. On the persons you do not know anything about. Okay, just take your time. Okay. Please, get down. You know what I miss about you? Your rudeness. That's what I miss. You are a fool. Get down. I said, get out of my car. <laughs> okay, then. coming. Amanda, I want you to go in there and gather everything that you need. We are going back home now. What? Yes. We are going back home. What kind of marriage is this? Get the marriage before. Mama, what are you talking about? What, what is wrong with my marriage? Everything. Amanda, everything is wrong with your marriage. Since you know, Amanda, how many children have you been able to have? None. What about funny stories about all these strange things happening in your home? I have come to a decision that you are going back with me now. I don't want to lose you. I am very sure it is Chiamaka that told you all of this. She must have told you of her cock and bull story of the tap coming on and off by itself. That is not enough reason for you to say my, there's something wrong with my marriage, Mama. That's not enough. Really? Amanda, what about the ones I experienced? What about yours? Ne? What about the strange woman who told you that you never have a child with a mecca? Did you think all those are nonsense? Amanda, see. I have been going for adoration prayers at Kukuzo and there was this prophecy about you that your life is in danger. So my decision is that you are leaving this house now. Mama, this is my husband's house. I cannot leave. I am old enough to make my decisions by myself. Why do you like to interfere? Eh? Why do you like to put to, 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 to just control my life? 
I'm an adult. This is just the height of it. It's no longer funny. Amanda, me an adult. Me an adult. You are still my child. I have more experience in life than you do. And I've come to the decision that you are living this home. You are living it now. Go and pack your things. In even now, why? So, this is all you raced down from the village to come and tell me. Is that it? I have good news. I am not leaving my husband's house. Amanda! Amanda! Amanda, don't say that you don't want you. Amanda, I want to find you. I want the one dollar. Amanda! Okay. That is affecting me. Okay. I'm sorry. Only if you knew that my mother was here today and why she was, you would not have apologized. No. Oh, Toto. It was going to be this easy to get him to start talking to me. What are you talking about? That means you actually underestimated my power of calculations. Why? This is a man I know very well. I know him inside out. Hmm. He's such a nice man. What nonsense. No, what kind of talk is that? Are you alright at all? 
Why should you call him a nice man? Listen to me, Lizzie. I hope you're not going to disappoint me with the way you're talking now. I hope. Me now? I was only trying to make a point. What nonsense point are you making? Look, who are you to make a point in a business I created? In a business I brought you into as a partner, you're making a point. Who are you to make a point? If I should advise you now, or if I should instruct you now to define point, are you not going to fumble? Can you define point? You sound as if you're angry. Are you angry already? Of course I'm very angry. Very angry because you are changing the rule of the game in the middle of the game. Why must you refer to my own enemy as a nice man? I'm not comfortable with that at all. Apart from the brief you gave to me about him, do you have another brief to add? Listen to me. Because of his so-called niceness, I am now standing the risk of losing out as the chairman of Amalgamated Traders Union of Furniture. I will lose that as the, as the chairman because of his niceness. And now my own chic, my own person that I brought into, into the business as my partner to assist me pull him down is now beginning to see him as, as, as a nice man. What nonsense? Sorry now. You better be. You better be. Let me tell you something, Lizzie. Time is what I don't have. And you have to get down to business. Because that man must go down. I'm a professional in this. Even my own enemies do give it to me that I am deadly. Ever since your so-called enemies started giving it to you that you are deadly, have you made money? The answer is no, because you are just a wreck. Now I want you to bring out that deadly element in you. Prove to me that you are absolutely deadly and you are going to see money. And I want you to understand that you don't have time. Okay? jobs in the world. That's the only one she indicated interest in. Well, she seems happy with it. She's very beautiful. Have you noticed that about her too? Oh. Oh. Okulo, okay. My dear sir. Look, I got up once again. Leave these girls alone. Let, let them go and get married. Leave this man alone. They were confusing you. I won't get. It's your Adam Lansol. Hey, 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 No, 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 no. You can't do that. You can see I have a visitor. Okay. And please, the right thing to do is you must clean my office before I get here. No, 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 no. Don't go anywhere. Udu, no need to send her out. It is still too early for us to start discussing these mad people. Let me go to my shop. I will come back later for us to discuss. Oh. Let her continue her case. Go ahead, my dear. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Please, uh, be fast, be fast.
every information you need is in there. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. You don't know what this means to me. It means a lot to me. I think we should start going as soon as possible. We? There is no we here. I've done my part. You don't think I will go looking for those women with you. Oh, pretty, please. Don't let me do this alone. Come with me, please. Amanda, there is no way I'm going with you. Hell no. Remember I was not in support of this in the first place. And now you want to drag me along? I'm begging you, please. Amanda, I have already incurred enough problem for myself. That jerk has not stopped calling me. I mean, that's enough problem for me to handle. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm sorry. And I mean it. Alright. Thank you very much for this. I think I should start going to my shop. I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why you are bothered. Udu will never accept that post. Udu is already going to accept. What are you talking? You will never do that. Udu will never do that to you. What are you even thinking? That I am bothered because of the letter I was served? No way. I was with Udu yesterday and we spoke at length. From what he said, it is so clear to me that he is going to accept that post. Now, he is going to accept or he has already accepted. Which one? What are you saying? What's your problem? No, that, that, that he is going to accept or that he is yet to. What difference does it make? Oh, it makes a whole lot of difference. Udu, we never do that to you. I've told you that before. Listen, he already knows that these people are only trying to show appreciation for the things he has done for them. He was supposed to make them understand that he was doing all those things not because he wanted to curry any favor, nor is it because he was looking for any uh, sort of uh, recognition. Omenka Flonaya, I remember telling you that Udu has ulterior motives. Behind all these things he has been doing, throwing money at people, and you refuse to listen to me. You know, is it not clear now? Is it not? And up till now, I still do not believe this. You know, what these people are trying to prove to me is that Udu is more credible than me. Isn't it? To them, Udu has clean slate and I have skeleton in my cupboard. My brother, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. Listen, okay, we are going to sort this thing out. I don't want these people to put a strain on you, our lifelong relationship. We will sort it out, certainly. But don't bother yourself. Udu has ruined me completely. What if I am for bum me? What's this all about? See what I've been telling you. <laughs> Kabu, 
bon moi qu'à mon gué. My brother, I don't know whether to regret ever giving her money to buy office clothes. She now dresses so provocatively to the office. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this one is rather imagined than discussed. Anyway, let's talk about why I'm here. You can deal with this just the dress of a king later. My brother, you sounded so worried. What is it? Uh, yes. Is this a Jamash saga in our union? My brother. <sighs> These people are on my neck. They would ha not have no for an answer. This one is a very big temptation. But everyone knows that uh, Okuro is your very good friend. Why would they want to set you against each other? Be careful. And uh, what I plan, I'm sure that you're not planning to accept it. I have made it clear to all of them that we would rather wait until Okuro's tenure ends. But they would not listen to that. They make it look like uh, I'm a Lego name, a guy, that's why I'm turning down their request. What nonsense request? Were you not here when they voted Okuru into power? Were you not? What do these people want? What are they after? I don't know. I don't know, but I need you to advise me on how to handle this. Well, my simple advice is don't accept it. No matter the pressure, don't accept it. Although Okuro can be annoying sometimes, you know, we're not our friend, but he's still our friend. Still our friend. We should always stand behind him and watch his back. Oh yeah, sorry. The only situation beyond man is death. That's true. I don't think that. So I think what I will do is to employ some wisdom. I'll see the way I can handle it so that nobody's hurt. But I think there must be a compromise. I'm worried, I'm worried. It does not work that way, boss. So how does it work? I have to gradually build myself up to him. There must be this level of closeness between us before I strike. Listen to me, Lizzie. There is something you don't understand. I don't have time at all. Amalgamated Trade Union of Onishado is the biggest and the highest trade union in the whole of Africa. Because of the money we control, the money we generate on a daily basis in the union. And I am the chairman. I am the one that sits on that mountain of money as the chairman of the union. And suddenly that idiot is making plans to take over from me as the chairman and you sit here telling me nonsense. I want that plan of his to stop. Wait, let me ask you something. Since this man is your friend, why not allow him to take over from you? Since the union members insist they want him. Wait, one. Lizzie, you have committed an abomination by that thing you said now. How can you say that? Do you know how disgraceful it, it, it is going to be that a whole me, Okuloka of Onishado, has been removed from office so that one idiot that became relevant by throwing money around will take over? In this water, we are not going to hide. Where? Hey, I didn't say that to you. I'm sorry. I understood it better. No. Beautiful. Now I want you to unleash the Jezebel in you and get that man destroyed. I want him destroyed faster than immediately. I'm trying. Remember that I'm only but a cleaner in that office. A cleaner with a class. Not just any cleaner. Cleaner with class. That's the difference. I know you can do what I want you to do. But can't you handle this any other way? I mean, this man is your friend. You can talk to him about your concerns. I believe he will understand you. He's a nice person. Lizzie, why do I have this nauseating no feeling that you're going to disappoint me in this case? What's the matter with you? Why are you sounding like broken record? Why are you growing cold suddenly? What's the problem? I'm saying this because he's your friend. This might destroy the relationship you have with this man if he eventually finds out. Lizzie, can you spare me this salmon, please? Please, forget the relationship. This man is my friend. Thank you very much. Not yours. My friend. Now leave me to decide how I want to handle my friend. And that way is the way I have already briefed you. 
Are you going to do it? Tell me, yes or no? Well, I've started, right? I have to finish what I've started. Better. Finish what I've started. And leave me to do my part. Listen to me, I am going to lift you up to that place where you will be with the stars up there. That's where you belong. It is money they use in making people stars and I am sitting on a mantle of it. We're going to make you star. Do your thing. <laughs> I will go back and come in properly. <laughs> yes, come in. Elizabeth, sir. are you always this excited? Hmm, sir, I have every reason in this whole wide world to be. So you're a nice man. I hope you know that. I've never seen anyone as nice as you are in my life. Really? Yes! So why does my ever excited employee think so? Sir, two days after I resumed work, you gave me a lot of money to shop for my clothes. As if that was not enough. You've paid me my salary before the due date. Oh, well, um, I paid your colleagues already, so it was only natural that I paid you. It's not a big deal. Ah! It's a big deal, oh! Sir, it is a big deal. So employers will not do that. You must work for a whole month before you get your pay. So we'll not even pay because of one flimsy excuse or another. Well, a worker deserves his wages and on time too. You see? You see why I said you are different. Sir, you are different. You're a nice man. <sighs> Sir, you are so wonderful. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry, sir. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I was just too excited like you. It's okay. I'm so sure. Okay, sir. Um, sir. I I go ahead to continue my work now. All right. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. I don't think there's anything abnormal about their request. You don't? Yes. I mean, you've always been generous to them. Besides, you've always been supportive of that union, so there's nothing wrong. Yes. Mm. What a horror. I don't want him to be disgraced out of office like that. Who is Okoro? That womanizer. <laughs> Sweetheart, please. I do not belong to your union, but sometimes I just sit and wonder how on earth he got to that position because I know that there are credible men in that union that deserve that post, not him. He might be a womanizer. Mm. He might also be stingy. Stingy? Did you just say stingy? Just like that. Stingy is an understatement. That guy is, hey, the highest Akara guy there is. But back, we, we, Yeah, but he has his good sides too. What good side? What are you talking about? <laughs> Please. Anyway, you sought for my advice and I'm giving you. And that is? It is such an honor for a group like that to come to you on their own to present such an honorable request. If it's something you think you can do, go ahead. Don't think about it. But if not, let it be that you cannot carry the responsibilities and not because of what your friend Okoroka will think. Well, I'm only thinking about my relationship with you. <laughs> what relationship? What has that got to do with anything? You will understand. Then forget that one. It's not an issue. Besides, he knows that you did not lobby for the post. You were on your own and they made you an offer. Hmm? Yes. Mm. You have a point there. Oh. But uh, I am supposed to look out for him. <laughs> there are several other ways. Plenty. Besides, does he look out for you? Have you asked yourself if he does? 
I don't know what my friend has done to you. I don't know why you hate him so much. See, left to me alone, that your friend will not be coming to this house. <laughs> my wife does not like my have, friend. Have said anything. <laughs> he won't just be coming to this house. It's just my my, my decision to make. Hey, why don't you like my friend? I haven't said anything. Anyway, just think about it. Hmm? Think about it carefully. And I trust you to make your own decision. Of course, I told you I will come back. Okay? Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I mean. Sorry for the short notice. But I figured out it'd be better on a Sunday like this when our heads are not full of business. I don't have any problem with that. You know, my house is equally your house. You can come anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I have been waiting for you to talk about it again. But I don't think you will ever do. It's about this our trade you don't think. I have come for us to take a decision on how to handle it. I don't know what you want me to say or what you want me to do, my brother. In as much as I find it very difficult to understand why our trade union people will treat me like this after three years of service. But the truth of the matter is that I cannot force myself on them. It is indeed a pity. I know you're a very good leader. So it beats me why they will wake up one day and take such a decision. And it's not as if some are for you and some are against you. No. They all seem to be singing the same song. And that is because they say they are looking for a credible man to be their chairman and you are the one they have found. Oh, come on. Don't talk like that. You're a credible leader. I, I think there's more to it. That's why I have come for us to talk. They have given me three weeks to accept the offer. So it's a threat now. Are they going to force you to accept the offer to become the chairman just the same way they want to force me out of the office? They are pleading. Last Sunday, they were all at my house. All the executive members pleading. Udubandu. These people are being too money conscious. I know why they are doing this. Considering the way you go throwing money all around, throwing money around, who wouldn't want to have you as the chairman? Sincerely, my brother, these people are concerned with what they can gain from you. Okuloka, being a chairman is not just about throwing money about using your words. It involves more responsibilities. So what then is the problem? Go ahead and accept the offer from them. What about you? I don't just want these guys to deal with you anyhow. So that's why I've come for us to find a middle ground so that no one is cheated or disgraced. <laughs> You make me laugh when you sound this way. Sincerely, I have decided not to say anything about this because I already accepted my fate. The same people I have served diligently for years will just wake up one morning and say they don't want me. I don't know why. I don't want to question their decision. 
I don't know. I, I, I didn't steal their money. I didn't abuse the office. So I don't know what their reasons are. Is it because of my women? That's my personal life. It's not supposed to be anything of, of, of concern to them. My take on this is, if they have decided to have you as the chairman, please, my brother, go ahead and accept the offer. Sincerely, I don't have any problem with that. I take it that this is from your heart? Of course, it's from my heart. Because I believe if you are there as the chairman, then I am the one who is there. <laughs> oh, hello. But you will do me one favor. I want you to wait until the end of the three weeks they gave you before you accept that offer. Why do you ask for such? Because I know these people. And they know how we value our friendship. By making that offer to you, they want to end it. And if you, are, if, if you accept what I just said and wait until the end of three weeks before you accept that offer, you are indirectly giving them notice that you are not in a hurry to end that friendship. Even as you are waiting, I also want you to advise them occasionally to have a rethink on this their decision to have Opoloka removed from office. It is not as if I will eventually decide again to go back to that office, no. But when you tell them that, it will make them understand you value our friendship deeply. You have a point. I think I will leave it till the end of three weeks. I can comfortably do that. Is it not why I said you are the best? <laughs> I know you will agree. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will agree. Oh, no, okay. But what do you want to do? Oh, My man, go, 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 go. It's just well with you. It's well with you, right? My man. I can't believe you're saying this. I just told you that this man almost saw me out there when he drove in. Almost, you say. Almost, not that he saw you. Can you understand from that that what you are saying is of no importance? It's not relevant. I want us to talk, please. All I'm saying is that you could have told me that he was coming so that I could coordinate my movements. But yeah, I didn't know he was coming. I got to know when he was almost here. Listen to me. The important thing is that he did not see you. So can you understand that what you're saying is not important? I want us to plan. I want us to talk. Nah, man. I'm just tired of this whole thing. I, I, I wish this whole thing can just come to an end so I can leave this country. I can't continue to live this kind of hide and seek life. Exactly my point. Now, we have just three weeks. Three weeks to execute the plan we have and then you will leave this country. Why? Three weeks? Three weeks is such a short time. Can you hear yourself? You are the one that just told me now that you cannot wait to leave this country. And suddenly, you are the same person telling me that three weeks is so short a time to execute plans. What is the matter with you? Listen to me. That idiot is going to accept that offer to be the chairman of the union. And that is what I want to stop. You have three weeks to strike. And let me tell you, you must, read my lips, you must strike before the end of three weeks. Uh, has he decided to accept the offer? I always knew he would accept, only that I didn't know the time. But today he confirmed to me that in the next three weeks, he is going to accept that offer. I had to give him my support because I knew that he would have been destroyed completely by the time we had done with the plans. Hmm. It means that um, I have to fast forward everything. That's the, that, that's the word. Fast forward everything. Now listen to me. 
if you can execute our plan faster than immediately, it will be appreciated. Making him fall for me, sleep with me, and then, and then I, I claim that I am pregnant. It's not going to work in three weeks. What is your plan B, boss? Why do you endlessly give me this impression that your brain is packed with pap? Must I be the one telling you everything? Listen to me. You are the one that must come up with something. That evil man is out to destroy me. He is out to dislodge me. And you have to come up with something. I want his name to be dragged in the mud so that he can go out of circulation. You have to figure out something to do. Something that will make him go out of circulation. And you have just three weeks to do that. Now, if you cannot come up with something tangible, it simply means that I have no reason whatsoever calling you my Lizzie and my Jezebel. I am simply your Lizzie. Whom you're going to send to Las Vegas, Bolivar. I am not a Jezebel and I will never be. Whatever. But you, you must have to come up with something that will make me believe anything. Fast. Madam Sales Girl, what kind of game are you people playing? I went to the boutique. The girls there told me, Madame is at the supermarket. Now I am here. You say, Madame went to the boutique. So a whole Udubondo, you have turned me to a Ruplin Turner. Where is your Madame? Has she been here today? Uh, Madame was here this morning, but she left before noon. Did she say where she was going to? No, no sir, she didn't tell us anything. She only asked us to take care of the shop. Because uh, maybe she had an emergency. Emergency that Amanda cannot tell me about? What is Amanda telling me? You're not taking it nicely. Do you still want to go see the other woman? Is it not enough sad news for the day? I, I do not believe any of the things she said. I just couldn't connect with her story. Then why not go home? Or, or you still want to go see the other woman? Who, who knows? Her story might even be more annoying. I have already set out to see them today. Let me finish what I started. I just... I don't want to disturb the priest again. Because he said that my daughter is sinfully living with a man. There is no way he can invoke the power of God. No, madam. I don't think he understood the priest very well. He is praying for her just as he is praying for everyone. I believe God will answer at his appointed time. Amen. My daughter is living under the influence of some spiritual forces. They've closed her eyes and her ears. I don't know what to do. Madam, keep praying for her. I believe God will finally show why he is God. God is God. He is not man. Why do you seek to know why I left him? What makes you think I'm willing to tell you that? Because you're a woman like me. Too many things are happening. A lot of things have happened. I need answers. Strange things like what? Your inability to have children. You know, I thought yours was different. I never knew you were unable to have children. What are you talking about? 
My friends asked why I left. They all thought I was crazy. My parents in particular were mad at me. No one understood what I was going through. No one could believe that the man I got married to was not whom everyone believed him to be. My dear, I strongly believe Udubondo is a member of a deadly occult. So many strange things that I cannot even talk about happened in that house. One of which was my inability to have children. It was medically proven that I could conceive and would could father a child. But we were unable to have children. So I went as far as getting someone to impregnate me. Just in case the medical reports were, were not right. What happened next was the last straw. Why are you asking me that kind of question? Are you no longer my wife? Why were you resisted in the first place? You finally have one. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. into me and I got pregnant. Something told me to avoid Udu. I resisted him for three months, giving him excuses whenever he comes to me. But that night, my resistance got broken. I allowed him in. And that was it. I lost the pregnancy. I needed no prophet to tell me my husband was a compromised man. Hmm. So I left. So you got married after you left his house? It was a tough decision. For Udu allowed me access to money. Real money. I told myself the truth. Money is not everything. I left all the money and riches and moved on with my life. Look at me now. I have three children. I'm the pregnant man I'm with now. Hmm. Madam Cheta, <clears throat> I want to ask you a question. When you were in Udu's house, did you encounter any strange woman? You know, Funny woman that probably told you to leave the house. Strange woman? Yes. No, I didn't. Though I felt like someone was watching me in that house, but I never encountered anyone in person. Like I said, so many strange things happened in that house. A lot.
Yes, because none of those women has experienced that kind of thing. I'm not arguing with you, pretty. I am not. It's just that Udu has to tell me what's going on with him. He has to tell me what has been happening. He has to say something. Just take it easy. Don't allow this to break your home. <laughs> I wish I had a home. I have everything, but I don't have peace of mind. Eh, how is that a home? Please, just take it easy. Coming from the supermarket. I have been there four times today. The last visit I paid to your shop was about 20 minutes ago, so I ask again, where are you coming from? You don't want to see the other side of me, do you? Have you been playing around in this small town of Onitsha where I rule as king? How dare you think of such a... Then where the hell have you been? Where were you all day? You couldn't take your calls? Neither could you return. What were you doing? I went to see your ex-wives. You heard me right. I went to see your ex-wives. You went to see my best wives. What for? How did you even find them? Emeka, please. You and I know I'm not an illiterate. I needed answers, so I found a way. You needed answers. You needed to see them. For what? Emeka. You claim we have everything we need in this marriage. We have money, we have this, we have that. Yes, we can have children. What do you mean by I needed what? I needed answers, so I went to see them. You went to see them because we don't have children or what? Emeka, you have a lot of explaining to do. You had better start talking because from what I heard today, everything is going to have a negative effect on this marriage. Excuse me. Those are angry women. I have told you how I sent them away. You of all people should know that they can fabricate anything just to make sure our marriage fails. Why did you even go to them? Why are we unable to have children? We've only been married for three years. Have we not seen our doctor? Emeka, with what I heard today, I don't think we will have one even if we spend eternity together. Really? I wonder what those angry birds, those daughters of Jezebel have fed you with. See, you have to admit it was a mistake going to them first. Look, they want your marriage to fail. Don't you get it? I am so worried. I am so worried the worry is going to drive me crazy. Sweetheart, you don't have to worry. What should matter to you is that you have a husband who loves you, you have a normal wealth to take care of anything you need, you have comfort. And very soon children will come. 
I want you to be happy all the time. Because the Bondo man of Onichado has you covered, baby. Worry for them. Do you know the problem with most of you men? You believe once you have gone down with a woman, you can always have her whenever you want. Oh, come off it, pretty. I am not one of such men. I don't have that belief. The truth of the matter is, whenever I remember the wonderful moments we've spent together, I feel in my spirit, in my soul, that you are the one for me. Can't you say? You're still drinking beer. Am I not the one that taught you how to drink it? <laughs> This is getting interesting. What do you mean? What makes you think you can have me for gifts? Have you forgotten what you did? One thing they say for sure is permanent, and that is change. The one sitting before you here is a different person from the one you used to know. That one was a monster, but this one is a monk. Please give the monk a chance to prove his love to you. I'm a woman who has seen it all. You cannot weaken me with your classless lines. Did you say classless? Throwback. Remember all the wonderful moments we spent together. When we traveled to the Belizean Island, even when we traveled to Cape Town. And I sure do you can remember why they still call me. Obichulus on a Cape Town. Come on, think of it. Give me a chance. <laughs> Sir. It seems as if you have forgotten we have 80 million naira worth of lace in the Fort Way house. No, please. I haven't forgotten. I was only waiting for the right opportunity to dispose of the goods. I think the opportunity is here. There is this age of in main line that can sell them off in one month. Age of four. I don't know him. Uh, okay. Ask Ijama to investigate him and uh, do me a memo on that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Elizabeth. Sir. Why barge into my office without notice? Sir, uh, I have something to discuss with you, sir. Where is the job? She has gone out for her lunch break. So who is at the reception? Please is there with other people that is waiting for Ishama to, to give them credit card to come and see you, sir. So, what is this thing you want to discuss with me? Mm, it was that yesterday, I... When I... you have refused to go with me. Chica will be very disappointed. I thought you've settled this. I don't feel like traveling to the village. I'll call him. 
or better still see him when he gets back. Hmm? All right. Do take care of yourself while I'm out. I will. Bye. Drive safe. Call me when you get there. Cynthia, so you're not just a graduate. You also have a master's degree certificate added to this. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. Not just a master's certificate, but one from the prestigious London School of Economics and Political Science. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tell her, baby. I'm telling her already. <laughs> she has to know. <laughs> So what's our lady from the prestigious London School of Economics and Political Science planning to do? Well, um, I'm just here on a brief visit and also to spend some time with my homegirl. That's me, the one and only Annabelle. <laughs> <laughs> and afterwards, I will go to Lagos and take up the job that has already been prepared for me. Hmm. Wow, you sound like you've gotten everything all planned out. My girl is highly connected. Oh, come on, <laughs> Annabelle. You know how I roll. I know. I don't have time for them hustlers. Uh, <laughs> I love them big. I love them. Like always. <laughs> so come on, babe. Tell me, what's up? What's going on? How is the marketing job going? Um, It's been good so far. But, you know, we're still waiting for the best. But, but some folks say that this job of yours exposes women to prostitution oh, please, and all please, of that. Please, 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 babe. Don't even go there. Those folks are allowed to think whatever they want to think. Me, don't care. That's nah. my girl. No. Whatever, whatever, babe. I swear, me, I just want to explore this town. Meanwhile, here's um, Sean Israel's back I got for you. For real? Like oh my god, that's my girl. I got my back too for seven, man. I got you something as well. Oh, really? Cool. This one is a Ducasby shoe. I like shoes. Oh, my Lizzie, my shade. <laughs> my Jezebel, my everything. <laughs> you know, I never knew you were this smart. You are such a wonderful actress, and I am impressed with you. <laughs> I told you, I told you I was going to deliver, didn't I? You did. And you delivered, the, you executed the plan in a perfect way. I am very impressed with you, my dear. <laughs> so, what is going on in the market now? The news is everywhere. Not only in the main market, but all over on the shadow, the news is everywhere that Udu Bundu of all people are tempted to rape his cleaner in his office. Look, can you feel the shame? <laughs> of all his employees, he chose his cleaner. Very disgraceful. And let me tell you something that is already planned. Tomorrow, our local Adu Light newspaper will publish it. They will print the kind of quantity they never printed before. I must destroy that man. Who is Udo Bondu to attempt to dislodge me in the same market we flooded? Eba in the echo. Or the Kwan Easy. So, what of our main target, the, the union? What are they saying? You know, my dear, this union issue that came up actually gave me the opportunity to deal with the bundle. The truth of the matter is that I had always wanted to destroy that man. The bundle was about easy, easy. And why this look? This whole thing is not about him taking a position from you in the union. Listen, my dear. Udubondo has destroyed me. Nobody respects me anymore because of the way he goes about throwing money at people. Can you imagine that one idiot actually had the audacity to look me in the face and told me that my time has expired, that Udubondo is now the main man? These are the kind of insults I keep getting. And I ask myself, why in this world would I allow this idiot to function? Freely. With what just happened, he will be forced to retreat to his chair where he will hide forever and give me the space 
to function freely as I used to do. I'm a move them way. I'm a that. Trust the main market members. They will not stop at anything in rubbing it in. I pity him anyway. No. Why, why would you say a thing like that? You don't need to show pity to an idiot that came to destroy me. I am the mafia. The lead mafia of Onishado. We are the owners of this land. What are you saying? Anybody that wants me to go down will be the one that will go down himself. What are you saying? <laughs> I am a Bundi Mopoda. <laughs> I am a Bundi <laughs> So now that the whole thing is over, can I have my ticket to Las Vegas? Oh, Lizzie, why the rush? My name is Okuloka Miliubu. If I don't keep on that day, listen to me. I am a man with contacts. A man that sits on a mountain of money. I am not shaking. My promise is to send you to Las Vegas Boulevard. I am committed to it. Just don't worry. Before you say yeah, your ticket will be over. You fly down to Las Vegas where you are going to meet somebody that will rock you. You want me to believe you? And Mecca, how do I believe you? What do you take me for? Do I look like your child? When everything is just in the papers, and the news is all over the papers, you expect me to believe you? What is that? That is in the papers. It's not a guarantee that it is true. Did not do it. It was a setup. How? How do I believe you? How do the people believe you? Eh, hey, Mecca? Eh, hey, Mecca, why? Why? What did I do to deserve this disgraceful act from you? Eh? Where, where, where do you want me to hide my face? Where do you want me to hide my face, for God's sake? Even if you wanted to cheat, even if you wanted to be with another woman, not in this shameful manner. I don't know why you're finding it difficult to believe me. Huh? How? Have I ever cheated on you? Why would I start it now? And in this manner too? That question should be yours! That question you just asked me now should be yours, Emeka! Why would you cheat on me and why in this manner? I am so disappointed to say the least. Sudan. Sudan. Why didn't you call to me? Who is after me? What have I done to anybody? Could it be in your wife's wives? Bonzo, you don't have to tell me. I know that already. But the question here is, why would this happen? I am as lost as you are. That girl came as somebody who badly needed a job. Oh my Jack, I may interview on this table. I want to be a cleaner, I want to be a house help. I should have used my village sense to know she was here on a mission. I don't know why this should happen, but who is after me? Udu, take this like a man. It is true the news is all over the place, but I believe with time it will die out. Don't allow it bother you much. Yeah. Thank you very much. As for the union, everybody is pained and have decided to withdraw the offer made to you for now, pending when this situation on ground will, will come down. It is very understandable. Yes, no problem. In fact, my brother, that is the least of all the problems I have. 
But I appreciate you for coming. Have a dialogue. You're welcome. Um, uh, let me run now. I've not opened my shop. I just let me come and see you. Let me go. I'll see you later. My brother. Dialogue. Papers would always write events. They were the what? But what I just told you is exactly what happened. Nothing more, nothing less. But Udu, you were actually trying to blow her eyes. You're Kena in your office. I can't understand that. Why would you want to do a thing like that? In this world, would you do a thing like that? That's not even the point. Udu, in his usual niceness, was only trying to help her. How about, let me even ask something. Her being a cleaner, does it make her less a human being? Oh, kind of like. Obviously, my argument is very valid. Being nice does not pay. Oh, beautiful, sweet, business was excellent. In fact, I was thinking of coming back home to celebrate with my people. But coming to this kind of news is, is not pleasant at all. My brother, what can we do? Because who is this girl? Who is she? A nobody. A nobody that he was trying to give a life. A nobody at all. Now tell me, now that she has done this, what does she stand to gain? Why are we discussing this? Why? It is very clear. This cleaner was hired by somebody to do what she did. That's exactly what I think. But she was hired by who? Udu here is the one that will help us. To know. Udu, who did you offend? Exactly by Confucian. I can't me. think of anyone. Well, well, if you ask me, that girl did not need a job. When we're all on our job, she is an agent planted just for that mission. mission. But that one is very certain. It's clear. Gentlemen, I am not as concerned about what people say or think as I am about the way my wife is reacting. Women, eh, her reaction is natural. Uh, don't, 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 don't let that bother you. Her reaction is about to shatter me. She's threatening to leave. Uh, Uti, listen, I know this is a very serious matter, but I still believe your wife should believe you. Mm. Considering the fact that she knows the kind of man she married. Mm. This is Udu Bondo we are talking about. Udu, do not let her reaction disturb you. She is going nowhere. Huh? I know women. I believe so too. Yes, yes. Well, I'll try to try to make up the steps. Yeah, my name is she, she is going nowhere. Okay. Do not let that bother you. Yeah? And, uh, let us drink and be merry. Oh, it's a small thing. Amanda, are you out of your mind? Don't even think of that at all. You should never think of what. This kind of shame is too much for me to bear. Would leaving your husband take away the shame? Uh, are you planning to take your life away? God forbid. Exactly. So living or not living will not change anything. Your husband needs you now. He needs me. Pretty, did you see him need? Yes. Did you think of me when he did what he did? Oh, Amanda. You surprised me. So you don't trust your husband? Please, trust is not the issue here. Trust is not the issue here. In this case, trust is everything. All this while you've been with him, have you ever had any reason to suspect him? Did you ask yourself that question? So why would you think he would sleep with a common cleaner? 
I don't know. I don't know, Pretty. I don't know what to think anymore. For, for crying out loud. Utuponto is a very rich man. He can even have the classiest and most influential woman if he wishes to. So why would he stoop so low as to rape in a common cleaner? I mean, I'm not saying we should vote for him when it comes to relations with women. But in this case, no. Yes, I can vouch for him. Again, what happened? One of his trusted account keepers, please, saw it. Other people saw it too. What are you talking about here? Do you think it's easy? I did. Let them claim to have seen whatever they said they, they saw. But you need to listen to your husband's question of the story. This is a setup. You need to stand by your husband. You need to listen to him. It's easier said than done. I don't think I can live with this kind of shame. Don't worry. This will pass. There's a saying that said this will pass. And I believe this will also pass. been calling all day. You did not take my calls. Why? Hey, because I have been busy. I'm so sorry. I just came down to take some liquor and attend to some of the messages that I have. It is a Sunday boss. What could you have been busy doing that you could not ask Lito and say hello on the phone? Do you realize how risky it was for me to walk down the street? Oh. I'm going to see you. She's standing. Come, come and sit down. Please, make yourself comfortable. I guess you were right when you said you have been busy all day. Indeed, you've been busy. Really, really busy. And don't you only put a corner and she be awkward. Leave this girl, Lizzie. She's not her. Everything is under control. Just calm down. <laughs> Honey. Nothing that happened. Baby, that babe is not as basic as you told me. How? I mean, you have to come up with your game. Before she unlocks you with brutality. Unprecedented. And you just face the one that concerns you? Leave us to handle the ones that concern us. That one. Nothing. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Take something, man. about the things we experience, isn't it? Ha. Hmm? Madam Pretty. You understand? I understand. I agree with you. But the robots has to take care of it. How can a man of his status allow his name to be dragged on a mot just like that? Imagine the way the three wives just left it. Just the same way. 
like I said, we can't talk about the things we don't expect. What is Madam Pretty, haven't we waited long enough? I'm so sorry. Please. I wanted to be shocking. Please. I want to fix my name. Yeah. About with you. The wildest man in this town? Yeah, of course. I just remember how the effort tried to talk about him like that. My dear, I feel he is the cause of his own undoing. Would you don't start? What? Don't. We're just talking. Hold on a minute. What is going on here? Can someone talk to me? Annabelle. You have been 